Hey everyone, it's Sister Candace Growing in Grace. I'm filming my um, recording, my uh, devotional tonight, um, Tuesday night. Uh, but it's going to be for tomorrow, Wednesday. I will be in doctor's appointments, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, record it tonight and then... It will post sometime tomorrow, but it's for February the 28th, uh, Wednesday, and it's entitled Building Blocks, and it comes from 1 Peter 2, 4 through 6. To whom coming as unto living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious Ye also, as living stones, are built up a spiritual house, as holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Christ Jesus Christ. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Sion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be conformed. <clears throat> Very few building blocks in our day are made of stone. There are there may be a stone vendor added to the outside for appearances, but generally the rock is not considered the best material for the most construction projects. But there was a time when stone was the major building block of any significant building. In the Old Testament, we read about the construction of Solomon's temple, where the blocks were so carefully cut in advance that they could be assembled without being hammered into place. It was critical when building with stone that the cornerstone and the foundation be laid right so that the massive weight would be distributed safely and the building would not fall. <clears throat> but there was another necessity element, the jointing of the stones together. Each of us stands before God on our own. We do not need a priest or a mediator to go to God on our behalf. That is the role that Jesus alone can play. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus, and that's Timothy, 1 Timothy 2, 5. That does not mean, however, that we are not to live and serve him as isolated individuals. Instead, his plan is for us to be joined together in the local church to build his work. Each stone has a place to fill in the wall so that it is complete. Each stone brings something to the role that no one else can fill in exactly the same way. <clears throat> Each stone is necessary for the strength and stability of the whole building. And our growth principle is God's work requires each of us doing our part for the local church to be fully effective as he designed. Um, go and read First Peter chapter 2. And then it also gives us Numbers 17 through 19, the chapters, chapter 17, 18, and 19. And then it gives us Mark 6, verses 30 through 56. And this is for Wednesday, our devotional, and it's entitled Building Blocks. Know that I love you. I'm praying for you. But the Lord loves you so much more.